What's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here, back with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I need to actually focus on the game I know. Here we go. In the last episode, we went to Landslide Cave, uh, completely forgot about our mission, and uh, got a bunch of deluxe boxes. Then we came back to the guild to find out that a time gear got stolen, and we managed to see Mr. Grovile type dude, who I believe I have given you his name already. It's Ben. And, uh, he just took the time gear at Fogbound Lake. So yeah, we're probably going to be finding out about that here eventually. <clears throat> but for now... Uh... What's going on? Okay, got it. Hold on. You two, Team Olympia. Huh? Excuse me? You called? You got yourself some visitors. Visitors? They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them. Who could it be? It's Timmy and Tommy. Hi there. Oh, it's you guys. Why are you calling them little guys? Tommy's probably older than you. Yep. We want to ask Team Olympia for help. Help? Yep. We need your help finding a water float. A water float? Weren't you looking for that earlier? A water float? Yep, someone said one was lying on the beach. We went there looking for it, and we didn't find it. Instead, this is what we found. This scrap of paper? There's writing on it. Let's see, what's it say? The water float from the beach is now in our possession. Just try to take it from us. We'll wait in the deepest part of Amp Plains. But knowing how weak and puny you are, I bet you can't even reach us. <laughs> can't handle it? Go try to your big shot friends. <laughs> hey, this note, it's a it's a ransom note, isn't it? You guys, promise me you won't go yourself. I suspect a trap. But the water float's very important to us. We really want to get it back. But I can't take Timmy to a dangerous place. I said I would go too. It's too much for you. I don't want you getting into any scary scrapes. I went to Ant Plains by myself, but many Electric-type Pokémon live there. I'm no match for them. I tried going many times, but I got knocked out right away. I just can't stand how weak I am. No problem. I know what to do. We'll go get the water float back for you. Really? You will? Yep. So no more tears. Okay. We're sorry to bother you about this. Thank you. You <laughs> should see your faces. All that crying and laughing. Go on. Don't worry, though. We'll get it back for you. It's a promise. Let's go, Daniel. We're off to Ant Plains. So yeah, in the fanfic version of this, uh, Daniel and Malice would continue to train together away from the guild. Uh, Team Skull, obviously, they are dead, so they would not be involved in this. Uh, <clears throat> instead... Hmm... Instead, I guess maybe it would be some, uh, unnamed, uh, third party who took the ant float with them. Somebody saw them going into ant planes, probably these two, but they could not get it back themselves. Uh, Tommy would join Abram and Buck, uh, going to ant planes. Because it is his mother's precious belonging and he wants to actually do something and get it back, not just, uh, leave it in the hands of Team Olympia. That being said, we have our mission. Let's see, what items did we pick up here? Uh, oh yeah, a bunch of uh, deluxe boxes. Alright, first of all, let's uh, clean up our storage. looks actually. Blue gummy, cool. We already have two of those so we can use this one.
Grass gummy. Reviver seed. That'll be, in ha that'll be handy. Another grass gummy. Okay. Alright, let's see if the shop has any gummies for sale. Nope. Can always use some iron thorns, though. No TMs for us, so uh, just some orbs that we don't really need. Alright. I'm going to store... Oops. No. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You have a mission for us, but uh, I can't accept it right now because we got a story mission. This will be for Daniel. We are probably going to want to take uh, a ground type that is not Geodude with us. Non traitor, cool. So now, even if I'm confused or cowering, I won't hit my allies. Good feeling. Cool. Alright, let's see here. How many Reviver Seeds do we have? Just one. We are going to want to bring a lot of them for this dungeon. What is your offer? Your offer is the same as last time. Okay. Oops. I want to get is uh, reviver seeds. No, that's uh, that's not wise actually. We don't have very many escape orbs, so uh, just gonna grab some seeds out of storage. Like five or six should probably be good. of orange berries too would uh, come in handy. Whoops. Alright. Fills up a good 20% of our item bag or so, but uh, that's fine. <clears throat> we just want to be ready for this boss. Actually, no. Geodude is uh, just fine for this. Even if he doesn't know any ground type moves, uh, he is a ground type himself, so uh, 
He might just be able to hold his own against the electric types in this dungeon. Alright, that being said, let's proceed. We are going to Ant Plains. And by coincidence, Daniel and Malleus would, uh... Would also come here. Er, yeah. Alright, so, uh, like they have said, lots of electric types around here. If you are a water type starter, uh, good luck. <laughs> It's Mareep, another electric type. It's a very fluffy sheep. I wonder if electric sheep dream of androids. It says TM, hidden power. Uh, we could teach it to Bach just for uh, just for a brick joke, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. We'll hold on to it, probably sell it. Elekid, or Elekid, whatever you want to call it. He's an electric type. He's the uh, pre evolved form of Electabuzz. Kind of rude. It's a baby Pokemon introduced in the second generation. sword stance. In fact, let's do that. Just to get our uh, physical strength up there. Because embers are nice, but we're going to run out of them eventually. Plusle! Uh, one of a duo of electric types introduced in the third generation. When Plusle and Minin work together as a pair, they're, they both get a boost to their special attack. That is their gimmick. Alright, we leveled up. Not bad. I'm gonna turn off this uh, rock polish because he keeps spamming it and it's annoying. Not going to step on a wonder tile if we can help it. Not with my attack power boosted. <coughs> Ooh, a black gummy. That works well on dark types. Uh, I really hate licorice, but uh, we will hold on to it. Forgetting which uh, button it does what. <laughs> Soften you up a bit before finishing you off with a move. That is how we roll in Team Olympia. If I can remember which button is the item button. Oh, cool! Yes, we will take you on our team. No, you will not be getting a name. No, you are not coming with us. Onward. Ooh, orange gummy. That'll be good for Buck. There's mine in the other pair of the Plusle and mine in pair.
Their stats are kind of low. Uh, their gimmick is all they really have going for them, and even that isn't all that great. Trap uh, makes you drop your held item. Kind of annoying. <coughs> there we go. I can use my item. Actually, I guess it would also come in handy against an outlaw, you know? Can't discount the uh, merits of my orbs too quickly here. You're just gonna throw that right back at me, aren't you? No? Giraffe rig, a normal psychic type, I believe. Uh, that is an extra head on the end of its tail. Pretty funny creature. Sounds suspicious. Have we seen this item before? I don't remember. The immediate surrounding area will be dark, even in rooms. Explosion TM. Let's see, what can we drop here? I guess we can eat this apple. Because <coughs> TMs sell for a good amount. Even if the uh, explosion is kind of a counterintuitive to our... Uh, existence here. Yay! We got a sheep. Hello, Monster House! Uh, alright. First of all, All enemies in the room get confused. That is uh, something we want. All enemies in the room get paused. 
All right, everyone is confused. That's Swords Dance. Twice, uh, preferably. And let's go crazy. Everyone is at double speed now for some reason. Why? Abram leveled up. Oh, hello. People are starting to get unconfused. And I am uh, out in the open here, which is uh, bad for me. Faux Seal Orb. What? I can't use items? Now I can. Okay, everybody is stopped. Not paused anymore? Huh. Alright, so, uh, yep, we just lost Gia, dude. Probably gonna lose him again. Because this is a video game. I'm just trying to. This would be a lot easier if I could push everybody into the hallway. Okay, uh, let's turn on Dedicated Traveler. This is stupid. Team, Geodude... Ah, Send Home could work. You have dedicated traveler. You, I'm just going to send home before you uh, start wrecking our face even more. Okay, now we're only fighting one guy at a time. Which makes things a lot more convenient for us. Royal Gummy is, uh, good for dragon types. Oops, I'm paralyzed. Fine, it can still use items, right?
Okay, cool. We got another Marip. I leveled up, and I can learn a new move. Scary Face. Scary Face causes an enemy to get slowed. That's not something I care about. We'll take the stats, though. Stats are good. Alright, uh, that sure was an adventure. Leveled up. Headbutt. That could come in handy. <coughs> yeah, it's a normal type move that does damage. I think it's stronger than tackle, so uh, you know, we might just have him forget tackle. Yen Mega, Bug and Flying Type, the uh, evolution of Yanma. There's Electabuzz. You'd think it would be an electric fighting type, but I believe it's pure electric. It was a rare Pokemon in the uh, original Red and Blue that you had to get by trading. Ooh, vacuum cut. Inflict damage on all enemies in the room. This is probably something we want for ourselves. I think we'll get rid of the smoke screen for this. Because smokescreen, uh, it is useful against bosses, but... Alright, we're gonna toss this as TM, because it's uh, not gonna be any, any good to us. I mean, we have cross-eye seeds for bosses. <laughs> we don't have really have anything to do with monster houses uh, quite as effectively. Flaffy, an evolved form of Marie. Flaffy evolves into Ampharos. It's a midpoint! Cool. Yep, you're being helpful. Alright, we are not going to save. I feel like playing dangerously.
Meanwhile, back at Treasure Town. So yeah, I can imagine that uh, while Abram and Buck <coughs> are on this mission for uh, for uh, Timmy and Tommy, Malleus passes by. Daniel is obviously still hiding. But Malleus, hearing that the uh, that the water float was taken to Amp Plains, uh... Well, let's find out. <clears throat> Sounds dangerous. So yeah, Daniel and Malleus will be going over that way. Heavy box. Let's see here, we can swap a plain C for that. Funky remix of the uh, the ant plane scene. <laughs> Dodrio, a normal flying type, the evolved form of Doduo. Here he goes. Let's see if we can uh, knock him out. Yeah, Buck! <clears throat> Got him. Alright, let's see. What can we exchange for the grass gummy? Or other plant seed. Whoa! Warp trap! And there's the exit. Whoop! <laughs> Hi, Abram. Nice of you to join us. That's fun. There goes Buck. Buck uh, ends up over there. <laughs> uh, okay. That's uh, definitely something. I guess I could have used an iron thorn there. Oh well. Uh, come to think of it, is vacuum cut a physical or special move? It's special. Okay. I was gonna say it's pretty strong, but I was looking at its accuracy. Electric, electric type move. It knows lightning rod, which means Abram is going to be useless uh, against it because it absorbs electric attacks. Tauros, normal type, high attack and speed. Uh, watch out for these guys. Pure seed. Warps the Pokemon to the stairway. That could, uh, yeah, let's use that now. Another Flaffy. Two Pokemon in this room. Might as well use Vacuum Cut. Okay, so it's pretty weak, but uh, that's what Sword Dance is for. 
Leap, learn a new move. Cotton Spore. Reduces speed by one level. That's uh, not all that impressive. <coughs> Ornberry, we've got plenty of those. Ooh, gummy. sell some stuff. some more stuff. Uh, we don't need quite this many iron thorns, do we? Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. Didn't even notice that Dodrio standing there. Uh oh. Yeah, Pursuit is uh, now a counter attacking move. It's not very friendly. here. Counter, fortunately, does not uh, counter special attacks, so we can use fan back and cut all we want, and it uh, seems to be a fixed damage move. Oh wait, duh! <laughs> special attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, boosting our physical attack did nothing in that case. Ow. Get rid of you. So yeah, we would need to learn Nasty Plot in order to make Vacuum Cut actually useful to us. So uh, I'm probably going to uh, bring back... Probably going to bring back Smoke Screen in the next dungeon. Lots of gummies here in Ant Plains. You'll see Shockwave. We are teaching this to Abram. It 
It never misses. And it's ranged. Line of sight. So yeah, uh, Abram just got a huge power boost from that. Thunderstorm. Why did you come here? This is our territory. So you're gonna hide like that? That's kinda cute. Alright, we'd actually be grateful if you kept doing that. We'll sneak quietly to get as close as we can. Alright, let's take him out! Haha, <laughs> my name is Maynetric. I am, I am the leader of these Electrites. So yeah, a whole pack of Electrike is in town. <clears throat> that's why it's dangerous here, and that's why I wanted Vacuum Cut, because we gotta fight all seven. Oh, there's nine. Alright. Uh, let's Vacuum Cut. Let's knock out as many of them as we can before they get close to us. Unfortunately, we can't use our orb here. Growl will definitely come in handy. Thank you, Buck. Actually, wait. They know a like They're gonna be using special attacks on us. Or the or quick attack. Okay. So yeah, three or four turns of this should knock all of them out if we survive that long. We're already starting to knock a few out. But yeah, Daniel, uh, Daniel, Marie, or Abram, Marie, stop using your electric moves. Okay, that knocked the rest of them out, besides the boss. We're in much better condition now. Let's just take him out. <coughs> to my knowledge, this is the only boss in the game that, fits you, that pits you against a, a whole bunch of... Actually, no. No, I just remembered the other one. So yeah, Malleus and Daniel would uh, jump in to, to save Abram and Buck. Abram would try to convince Daniel to return to the guild, but Daniel would refuse. Uh, then they get in a fight anyway. Uh, Abram and Buck get knocked out. When they return to the village, uh, they decide to actually report Daniel, and he gets labeled an S-rank outlaw. Malleus, on the other hand, does go to the, uh, does go to the back to town with them. Uh, he tries to, uh, you know, play both sides. Now Malleus would have to uh, put up an act of uh, trying to trying to uh, capture Daniel uh, and constantly failing. Kind of like, you know, Luke at me, <laughs> I guess. A nomadic tribe that always stays on the move.
Hmm. <coughs> Here's the water flute. Someone set up us the bomb. <laughs> so you knew all along. No point in hiding then. So yeah. <laughs> They're scared of Malleus. What stinkers! <laughs> they certainly are quick when it comes to skedaddling. So yeah, that is a thing that happened. So yeah, this is in the game when Malleus finds out about uh, Chekhov's lens. Uh... I guess uh, I guess he would find about it out about it now too. But yeah, here it is called the dimensional scream. Uh, kind of a strange name, but you know. Malleus also finds out Daniel used to be human. And, uh... Yeah. So yeah, Daniel and Malleus have met before. Look at that eye. You know he's hiding something. The ability to see the future or past by touching something. That ability is called Chekhov's Lens. Indeed. How such an ability is learned, that is unknown. Sounds and images slice across the boundaries of time, breaching objects and reaching into Pokemon to manifest as visions. And that is all that I know about the extraordinary ability. So Daniel has an ability as special as Chekhov's lens. Well, perhaps this is why he became friends. To help unravel the secret of Daniel's transformation into a Pokemon. I offer you my full cooperation. <laughs> so yeah, they would make an attempt that they would uh join forces in an attempt to capture Daniel. Uh but Malleus would often sneak off to uh you know, do his own thing.
Hey! Hello, Buck. F finally found you all. <clears throat> What's the big hurry? You're out of the breath. Calls and put out. All the apprentices are to report to the guild immediately. Uh-oh, something is up. I'll go with you. Hurry, everyone. Chapter 11. The Thief. Come on, hurry! Everyone's here. Yo, yo. Sorry, everyone. We just got cold, told that the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gear was stolen. What? Not another one. From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh, uh what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere you don't want to talk about? Uh, wait, it wasn't the one from... Yes, it was. This time, the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? But how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake. Only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? Couldn't be. The member of the guild talked, could it? What? That was uncalled for! Hey, hey, hey. Don't trust your fellow members. Uh, sorry, that was uncalled for. You're right. No one would break our vow of secrecy. It just never happened. I should have thought before I spoke. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you'd lead to that conclusion. So yeah, I could see Daniel getting blamed for this. Uh, again, he would be labeled an S-rank outlaw. And so, uh, the team would give chase. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after our expedition. Uh, just one moment. Actually, wait, no. Daniel didn't see the th What am I talking about? <laughs> there was a time gear at Fogbound Lake? I did not know that. Did I not hear quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Malleus. We made a promise, so we couldn't even tell you. Anyway, a lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Yuxi, and made off with a time gear. Yuxi? Is Yuxi alright? Yes, Yuxi is fine. He's under protect the protection of Magnazone's squad. No need to worry. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Yuxi's victim statement, the intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up! What kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. See for yourselves. This Pokemon goes by the name of Benjamin Nikolai. Oof, that's one nasty piece of work. Benjamin Nikolai. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's been stealing the, stealing the time gears. This wanted poster just arrived. It was issued based on Yuxi's statement. It has arrived as part of an all-points bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all those Pelipper were flying around. Daniel's last name is also Nikolai. So, uh, yeah. more, Even more suspicion might fall on Daniel after this. Officer Magnuson obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on the thief. On the thief, we promise Yuxi. We promise not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Yuxi now. Hey, hey! Here's what sticks in my craw. The view there's been ruined. And hey, hey! I just can't forgive that. Uh, hey, Guildmaster. Uh, Guildmaster. Yunta! Ah! Everyone, we'll catch Ben. We'll catch that thief. I vowed in, on the pun the name of the Wigglytuff Guild. Mr. Paul, if you will. Yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing these two. Do your best to bring them to justice. Goes without saying. 
Hey, 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 there's no way we can let any more Time Gears be stolen. Come on, everyone. Let's pull together. Let's do it for Yuxi. Ismelda, I believe I understand the situation now. I will join in your guild's pursuit of Daniel and Ben. Thank you, great, great Malleus. Golly, having a great Malleus in our corner is mighty heartening. Hey, hey, we're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We'll devise a strategy for finding Ben. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you are ready to leave. Okay, everyone, let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! The chase is on. Let's hurry and get ready, Daniel. Let's start preparing with a visit to Captain Town. So, yeah, the chase is on, and we are going to save our game here. See y'all next time.